me give you a couple of real world scenarios that will help this all click. Remember the one at the beginning of the episode where we said a cold motor called you because there was no water to the bathroom or the toilet, but the kitchen staff still worked. You headed up to the loft and you found the frozen system because it wasn't insulated properly. So to fix this, we'd need to thaw the system safely. Then we would need to insulate the system properly and insulate the pipes too. Prevention is better than cure. A family reports their water tastes funny and smells bad. You inspect the system and find it's missing lid. Insects, dust and debris has gotten in. That's water's contaminated. The fix, well, we'd need to clean and disinfect the system, fit a proper lid and educate the homeowner about maintenance. This is why regulations require systems to be covered. And then we've got a homeowner complaining that their top floor shower has terrible pressure. You check the system and find the system is only a metre above the shower. That's giving them about 0 0.1 bar pressure, barely a trickle. The fix, either raise the system if you can, or we'd have to consider installing a shower boost pump, or consider switching to mains fed system. Sometimes an indirect system just isn't the right fit. These scenarios show why understanding indirect systems matter, 